Well, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Somerset today. This evening, we are finishing off Harvest. We are in our small little block of oats. You can see it's minute, really. Uh, we're just finishing off the last triangle, and that's for all of our own Harvest, is that, really? Uh, let's get a bit further around there first. We have not too much to do, so we're just getting this done. There's a few Harvest contract jobs out there, but I don't think I'm going to take them at this time. Because uh, we've got a few things we want to do. We need to get into September. We need to start thinking about uh, today's episode, which is going to be building up our farmyard. We have money left over. We did buy one more bit of machinery since we last there. We bought a baler that we needed. And we're now in a position whereby, hopefully, hopefully, we can progress forward and start to build up a farmyard. We need a new machinery shed. We want to bring some form of livestock in there and maybe some other kind of production chain. So we need to invest in that. So what we're going to do is finish up this last little strip of oats here. We're not going to sell the grain off straight away because we want to keep hold of that. Um, because we might have to use some of it to feed some livestock. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we did sell off the, the, wheat, the wheat field behind us there. Ended up bringing in about a trailer load of uh, wheat. Which we sold for about £283 a ton, I think. Uh, so we got a little bit of money back there. But otherwise... It's a bit slow going. Uh, we've got no more bailing contracts to do. We do have two of our own fields, so to mow and to bail. So we will be probably looking to do a bit of hay and side. Let's just see what we can sell there, I should think. Uh, because right now we definitely do not need it for anything uh, for our own usage. And then, yeah, we bought part of the shed. It's already been built. It's not finished. Uh, so we're walking through that as well. We spent 10 grand on the shed from a local neighbor. Uh, and we're going to bring that one in and set that one all up and make sure it's all looking good. But today... Yeah, it's a good stage of the day. It's good for us to be able to actually finish off of this field. Now, you would have heard the bing and the lights on there. Can't see anything in the grain tank. I haven't had to empty anything out of this grain tank yet. Uh, so this field isn't yielding all too strong. But never really would expect it to, given the size of it here. So we can just get this done here. We've got the fields on the left and the right of me need to be bailed. Uh, so we'll get into that one. We've also done a bit of alteration to some of our fields. You'll see... The Ford's ahead of us over there with a grain trailer. That is, oh, just a bit, that is a new gateway in there, because otherwise you have to come all the way around the, the road, which didn't really make much sense to me. So we're, uh, we're going to leave that. And then we might put, uh, remove the gateway at the far end as well there. But lots of little changes have been made there anyway. We're going to be clearing up some yard space tomorrow. Uh, fell in a few trees down, had a bit of a fire going to get rid of some stuff. And now um, we'll just see where that leaves us. But right now, that looks like... We're all good. So we'll just knock that off. That is, believe it or not, the last of Harvest 2023 for us. Uh, let's get the Ford in here. That sounds healthy. I'm sure that's fine. All right. It's going to be 40 plus year old Harvester and it's just sailing along nicely. Uh, wheel, wheat field has been finished, like I mentioned. We just got to bail it all. We do have a round baler now, like I mentioned, so we will get onto that when we, when the opportunity is right tomorrow. Uh, there you go. Yeah, nice to have it all done. Um, there, I nearly, I was so very, very close to pulling the trigger on something, uh, which wouldn't have been a, a great move. Um, well, it would have been, but not the, a wise move, I think it would be fair to say. Uh... All right, and we'll just get that one alone here. There you go. So, yeah, we were looking in. I was looking at seeing any promotional options and sales that we could have there, and I nearly pulled the trigger on a loader here. But 30 grand on a loader. We're at about 90 grand after the shed's been removed and the baler. Whilst it would have been an interesting opposition, uh, proposition there, it just would have been impractical. We don't need it at the moment. It's not enough work to be done. Um, and it like for what the way that we're doing a lot of contracts at the moment it's a second machine that we'd have to move around it just doesn't really make any sense in that respect so decided against it in the end um you know whether or not i uh re regret that at some stage we'll have to wait and see uh we'll just get that folded in before we go past the tractor there then move this other way stick it near the header trailer there we don't need to shift this today like i say we have nothing else that we need it for at the moment the nice cheap combine doing a nice bit of work for us clearing everything off that we need there and then we can you know we'll see how we go i might i was thinking actually when i was harvesting the wheat field that we might keep this uh, a bit longer than anticipated maybe stick the cab on it and uh see, see where we go from there but you know 
same time, if something very uh, promising comes through from a contract stamp or a, a sales standpoint, and we can afford it, we'll see where that goes. But otherwise, done some good work for today. Uh, I imagine we've probably got half a trail load of oats in here right now, so it's almost not worth taking away so we know what we're doing for sure. Uh, but anyway, let's get out of here. We'll bring the baler in tomorrow. Get the straw build up everywhere. Get that stacked up as well. We'll uh, sell that when the going's good. We'll have to check the market to see when that will be. And then, yeah, we need to lease a wrapper, I think, because I do fancy jumping in and making some silage with these two fields here. Maybe we'll do a little bit of hay, but we'll see. We did return the tether as well, so if we were to do hay, we would need to find a, uh, a tether from somewhere. But you'll see the ahead of us. We have now got a fancy little A-frame in place. Uh, not a very big shed, but a great shed for what we need. So we're going to come back to that tomorrow morning uh, where we can walk through what that looks like uh, and see what the plan of attack is going to be for making our new yard. And so good morning. Welcome to September. We are now standing in where our new yard is going to be. Now this A-frame has been erected quite quickly here. But the it's bought from a local farm. Uh, I spent £10,000 on this old shed. Uh, which I think is a great deal considering uh, for the, the seller, really. It's a, a very small shed. Uh, it's going to have three walls around it on this side, the back, and up this side here. So we're going to enter each bay from here. Uh, we're going to use the store machinery and bales in, and then it gives us a good starting point uh, because right now you can see our new baler, our new rake, and mower are all outside. I want to get those all tucked in under the dry. Uh, tractors will probably stay where they are in there. That seems to work okay. This shed, I'm not sure what we're going to do with yet either, but we might want to get this opened up a little bit more, maybe. Uh, I don't know, uh, but we'll see about that. But what I did need to do is move a couple of trees because I want to make a little bit more use of this space here. You'll see the big skips going with all the rubbish in it as well, all the scrap metal. So right now, we're kind of getting into a bit of a better place with everything. Um, diesel tank has diesel in, which is good because the Ford needs some. Uh, and yeah, and we can store a few small bits and pieces under here too. So we're going to continue to try and do that. But what we need to do today is this fell this last tree here that nearly killed me um and then we're going to clear all that up get it onto here we've got a fire that we're gonna get going as well just so we can really uh get everything tied up nice and neatly i cut through that one as well get this all on and we'll get this burning up and away and in that time we can also think about what the next steps will be for uh, for really kicking on here and making a little bit of a of an actual working yard because right now we've just been making do with what we have here really uh, there you go get you over onto the fire pit and you can go over there too all right bit of a mess tidy up here but we'll get that done and just thought about leasing the jcb in to do this again but realistically it's just a waste uh, we can get it all done here uh stick you over there as well i mean that's a bit aggressive but we can get that one trimmed down a little bit perfect okay so we'll just get this all looped in i got some um so a little bit of petrol not the best thing to put onto a fire to get it going but it's gonna get it going so we'll, we'll try it and then we'll see how we're looking there we get this all uh burning away Tires aren't going on. We're waiting for those to be disposed of still. Now, is there anything left over there, though? Ah, there is a bit. Okay. And then, yeah, well, let's get this burning. And then we're on to the, the important piece, really, for today, which is designing our yard, building up how we want it to be, and making sure we can get everything uh, everything in that we need and deciding how much we're going to invest as well. So we'll get this all done, and then we can get into the fun bit. All right, then. It is a burning. It's a bit aggressive. It's more aggressive than perhaps I was thinking it would be. But uh, it's a way anyway, which is good. Uh, we can leave that to go. We should keep an eye on it so it starts to simmer down a little bit. It's away from all the sheds as well, so we should be fine there. Uh, but yeah, it is a burning, which is the main thing. That's what we wanted to see. Okay, so we'll leave this just to rumble on a little bit there and try and make sure that some of these, the, the foliage here burns away. Some of those pallets should start to go fairly quickly, one would assume. Uh, and then we should be looking quite good. Uh, what we do need to do, like I mentioned there, is just get all this uh, burned up there. We'll keep an eye on it, make sure it keeps closing in over rather than out over. Uh, so we can uh, be, be sure that we're in a, a better place and nice and safe here. Uh, I think the tractor will be okay there. There's a bit of heat coming off here though. I wonder if I should maybe move that or if it's a bit too late for that. Um, yeah, best, best case maybe we just stay a little bit too, a little bit close to it here. Anyway, 
Um, with that being said, you know, otherwise at the moment there we're looking all good. Uh, what we do need to do now is think about a few things. I want to get some livestock in here. And we're going to finish building the shed over the next month or so. Uh, so we should see this one coming in soon. And by the end of September there, we'll be able to have this uh, fully working. Um, just have to slowly continue to add on the panel in there and finish everything up. So it looks good. We need to do a couple of things. We need to decide upon what our approach is going to be. Uh, decide upon how we're going to make something from our um, three of the winter months there. And, you know, we can't rely on contracts every day of the week. And certainly our own land isn't quite that sustainable just yet. Uh, so we need to see what we can do as far as that's concerned. Um, at some stage, we need to get a house as well. We're looking at around about 96 grand at the moment in the bank account. Um, now, we need to consider that we don't have anything for drilling yet. We need a drill of some description. Uh, so what we might do is, first of all, just have a look at some of the contracts that we have available. See what we can take on to just diversify or increase the quantity of land. There's a bailing gig coming in uh, for silage bales as well interesting uh 102 how big is 102 so 102 is this one here it's not particularly big field uh at the very top but so that might be an option for us there and like i mentioned we were considering getting a uh a wrapper in of some sort for us to be able to finish our own jobs as well so maybe that's an option uh, a lot of plowing contracts we don't have a plow and one drilling contract and uh, like i say harvesting gigs right now we uh we just don't have the uh, the opportunity for that at the moment uh, so maybe we'll come back to that field 88 structure has been quite large uh anything on the sales market again oh there's a new tanker coming in we don't need that one but that would be pretty handy um and all this i mean i got a rake there we're looking pretty good uh what i want to do though whilst we're here is think about our livestock options too um but i think what we'll cut that bit out I think what we'll do is we have a walk around here. Just decide where we're going to stick. There's a couple of... Uh, I think we're going to go for hens to start with because they're very lo fairly low maintenance. And we can just get them set away and leave them, which I think is going to be important for us to do here. Uh, just wondering if we maybe stick there like a hen house here. That could work. And it's kind of out of the way a little bit, but it's still in good location. So we might look just to stick that there and we can then just leave a bee. Or even maybe along here. That could work out quite well as well. Um... The one I'm thinking, I don't think it's going to need too much space. So we can try that one. Uh, we'll get this fire taken care of and let it kind of slowly burn away there. And then we can see uh, what the next stuff looks like. All right, so the fire is done. We're controlled and looking safe there now. No more need to panic or cause for alarm. So we've got a little bit more area to work with here, which is good. We will get some of the grinder stumps out when we can. Uh, that will be all well and good. Uh, but we for now, yeah, we just need to... Well... Um, see what we're going to do there. Like I say, shed's looking good. First thing I think we're going to look into is this attaching or uh, nailing down where we're going to put this hen house. So I think we had a good idea there earlier on. So we can get that one stuck in and in place now. Uh, de -de -de. It's nice and small. It's quite cheap as well for what it is, but it still holds 40 hens. So not a huge number, but you know, sufficient I would say. So I'm not spending 25 grand on that because it seems like an awful lot of money. So. With that being said, um, let's go for that as 40, that as 30. You know, maybe we just stick one of these in. It won't get too much, but it'll be better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, so if we can just spin ourselves around here. I'm thinking, like I say, somewhere around here. Gives it out of the way a little bit. It's, um, but, you know, I think I'm assuming they're all just free roam. So do we go there or do we go? No, let's go. Let's stick it there, shall we, for the lettuce? Or even about there, and then that way we can... Alright, so they're in. Takes out a little bit of this corner of this field, but in all, honestly, this field's going to be slowly um, squared off there, I think, anyway. Not fully here, we'll try and keep the bend in there, the road. I'm actually thinking of putting some, because uh, we knocked down two trees there. I want to plant some more trees in and around here anyway. So that might give us a bit more of like a tree alleyway. But that's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, and that'll allow us to get some animals in there. So let's go and do that right away. Get them all set up and working. Uh, I think I'm going to come over here somewhere. There you go. Let's go for 39 of you. 
And one Jeff Brewster. There you go. What a guy he is. Perfect. Uh, all right, they're all good. Now they are going to need some grain. I'm not sure if oats will actually do it. So we'll have to see. Can I go into here? Yes, I can. Oh, sweet. Well, that's cool. Yeah, we'll get them some uh, hen feed soon, which probably means that we don't need the oats because I think it's only going to be wheat or barley. So we can probably just take that away and get a little bit more money coming back in. That trailer load will pretty much pay for everything we've just got in there, which is kind of cool. Uh, let the free range gals do their thing. Um, I think that, like I say, we've planted a few more trees as well, just to make this uh, to offset what we what we just felled there. Uh, so we'll go down to decoration. I do have. Um, I do have an apple tree. Uh, which should bring us in a little bit of uh, revenue there. It costs a little bit of money, but then the offset of about 1,200 bucks a month, uh, 1,200 pounds a month would really kind of uh, bring it bring it back over time. We'll stick one there. And then maybe one more. Can get through there, okay? All right, just two because, like I said, they are expensive for now. Uh, and we can still get everything in there. That'll be fine. Okay. So we, like I said, try to bring in a little bit of extra revenue source. See what that looks like and how that works. That'll be fantastic. Uh, right now, what we look like in our sales here. Still no changes. 81,000 there. We do at some point need to get a house as well. I'm thinking that when we start to get into a position where we can afford more sheds. Um, but when the sheds finish, these machines are obviously going to go back into there. If we have silage bales, they'll probably just get stacked up along here. Uh, and keep that as it is. Um, which will be okay for, for me. And I wonder if we uh, will probably put a fence or a wall up along there as well. Maybe a, a bit of a gateway out into here so we can uh, eventually just completely block off that other side there. Uh, there will be another shed of some description going up around here as well. I might just angle it in off the back of this one and out into a 90 degree there. Uh, and then that one may well allow us to put something in here as well. Maybe a, a livestock pasture or something. But I'm also thinking about the possibility of bringing a greenhouse in or two. I do like those. They're a good um, different uh, avenue for revenue. So I think it's something that we should always be looking into. Um, again, the question is where? I want to be in good sunlight, of course. I'll have to figure out what that looks like. There. I might as well just get that fence to continue around there, actually, and stick it in. I'll fence in the old Hensies. So my options are at the moment that we can either stick a greenhouse into here uh, or we can stick one, a couple actually maybe over into the uh, uh, entrance of that field over there. A little bit shaded, perhaps. I think this might be the better location in terms of just light uh, and natural light that they're going to get. So that might well be something we look into. Before we spend that money, because it's going to be about another 12 grand, uh, I just want to make sure that we're in a position that we have everything that we need for um, the upcoming months, really, from a machinery standpoint. So... When we start to think about drills, that would have been perfect, but damn, it's expensive. Uh, way too much money there. Uh, so, uh, again, an awful lot of money there. What's that? That's a four meter wide. That could nearly do a job. Um, everything else is too big and shiny. Uh, these uh, accords or the cavernas also would do well. Um, so that might be an option there. We just need to figure out what we can do from a cultivation standpoint as well. So let's do that first. Uh, do, do, do. Again, all rather expensive. Uh, so maybe we look at a different way there. We just got a regular cultivator there, so we can look into cultivators. What's that going to be? Three meters wide. That might well do it. Probably one of the cheapest options there. 15 grand though. That's still quite expensive. Uh, keep going through the list. See what else we have. Ooh, no. This is a bit narrow. So I think we'll end up having to lease something here, you know, just to get it started with. There's a lot of money tied up in drills here, which uh, I don't particularly want to do. So we'll probably just end up leasing one when we get around to it, I think, for the drill. Uh, baler wrapper as well is something that we uh, were thinking about. So let's have a quick look at that option. Uh, again... Uh, always a little bit expensive. Now that would, for the number of bells we're going to do, that might well work well. Uh, certainly be a good option there. 20. 
Yeah, that might be something we end up going with there as well. Uh, okay, so lots to think about there. Um, nothing really in sales that we can rely upon there. If I do that next bailing contract as well, that can pay for a big chunk of this. Uh, it's about six grand, I think it was. So that might be something we look worth looking into. And then the sale, uh, sales of our own bales as well might kind of get us up to a good position there too. Uh, so it's 16 grand over the trail version, which would be 27 or 22. I wonder if just if we're going to do that, just the trail version might work out a little bit better, a little bit faster. I've gone for it. Oh boy, spending a lot of money here. All right. Um, so we'll get some contracts done. We'll get some bailing done. Let's um, move this trade actually, and we'll stick one greenhouse down in the sun out of the way here. Um, and then we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, and that'll be a good place for us to go. We can then also look into a few different bits and pieces. As we get into the winter months there. You know, right now, I think we'll just get going with some of this contract work here. We'll lease a drill in as and when we're ready. We might buy a, 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 a small plow. Uh, or, you know, uh, by the time we get into a position where we can really get going with our cultivation work we'll double check that back to see what that looks like a cultivator or something has to be purchased though uh without doubt so we will we'll cross that bridge um can do though is just get this moved out the way and don't forget yeah we can go and sell off the trail of the votes today as well so that'll get us back into some uh positive and then, yeah, I'm looking forward to having everything set up here, getting the sheds done so we get all the machinery out of the way, getting those silage bales of our own baled so that we can then move on and get those inside. That'd be rather cool. Uh, and really just start to take advantage of the machinery that we own and making that kind of count for us a bit here. I've come into the wrong area. There you go. Uh, productions. Greenhouse. So four grand. Six grand for a double. That doesn't seem too bad. front there so then I'm thinking if we keep this here we can still get another shed kind of at 90 degrees to the one we're currently building and then you know that gives us a bit of an opportunity to yeah like I say still get something directly up there and then if we need to over time as i mentioned i think we'll end up coming out here a bit more and using a bit more of this field up but that's for a different day uh you know when we can actually afford to do a bit more let's get a little bit of groundwork done here though make this look a bit smarter uh and then i think we're in a position where we're yeah, let's come together let me know what you do if you want to add anything there or, or what options i should take uh but this is all just a bit of a, a, a trial and error right now um need to just start getting a little bit more revenue coming in and then uh, we'll get to that bit when we can there as well. And so, yeah, what well, that will be us kind of taking a few st precautionary steps there to make sure that the farm is able to look after itself. So we'll get that running sooner rather than later. We need to go and take a trip to the store to get some seeds. Uh, what we'll do right now, though, is go and head off and sell our oats. Then we can get the baling started. Then we can really, uh, you know, get this farm up and running a bit more, get everything put away, get the hens fed. Get a, I put a fence up along here as well just before. Uh, and what we'll likely do is once we get all the straw built up is just fence these lot in here a bit better and change the shape of the field around the corner there as well. So that should all be looking good. Uh, but yeah, it's coming together bit by bit. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight and we're, you know, it's starting to take a bit more shape. We need to figure out what in the world has happened to that gate though. My word. Um, what could have caused that? All right, fun. So we'll figure that one out as well. Part of the list because it looks like some of the gravel's washed away. Uh, so we'll leave that and we'll come back to you later on. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed as we continue to grow. Uh, harvest is finished. It's on to the, the fall and the autumn cultivations. And it's also about trying to get a bit more money coming in before winter hits. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Simulation for the Nation. We'll see you next time.